Hello and welcome. In this short breakdown, we're going to explore the process of creating a realistic iceberg scene in Houdini using Redshift. The first step would be to add in a height field node to have something to build on. Then comes a height field noise to displace the initial height field. I add a height field distort to add some detail and distort it. Next I use a height field erode to simulate erosion, creating cracks and a more natural look. Then a height field distort again, just to break up the boring look and introduce some variation. Next I convert this to polygons and use a clip node to delete the lower part which is too flat. And finally I use a polyfill to fill the area beneath so I can convert this into a VDB. For the lower part I have a cube. I add a simple mounting node to displace it. And then I convert this to VDB so I can use a VDB combine and combine it with the upper part. This is how they look when combined. Finally, I add a mounting node again to kinda make the two parts blend together. Before diving into shading, let's quickly see why certain areas of icebergs have their distinctive blue color. The main reason is how light interacts with them. This is an illustration of light hitting the iceberg. At the surface, light scatters evenly making it look white. As light travels deeper, the ice absorbs more red and yellow wavelengths, leaving only blue light to scatter back out. This is why the deeper parts of an iceberg appear blue. Let's try to recreate this for our iceberg. First of all, I add in an ocean and a sky to give the iceberg a context. I'm using the standard material which comes with redshift. Let's take a look at some of the subsurface scattering parameters. The subsurface color is the surface color, so I'll leave that as white. For the subsurface radius, we determine how far different wavelengths are scattered throughout the iceberg. I can enter manual values for the RGB or just choose a nice blue color. These values get multiplied by the scattering scale, so make sure you have a relevant scale. With the subsurface weight I am controlling the overall amount of subsurface. This is the result for a weight of 0 0.25. In this case I wanted to add some impurities to the iceberg. So I have a Maxon noise which is plugged both at the subsurface weight and the base color. This will ensure that we have less scattering in those areas. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more content.